All right, so today we're going to talk about um, the Gini coefficient and um, as it pertains to measurement of inequality um, and the Lorentz curve. So remember from last class, or last session, we spoke about um, even the distribution of um, income as well as uneven or absolute uneven distribution of income. Um, so we have our lines here, which are dotted lines, it displays the line of absolute equality, while this line over here um, displays the line of absolute inequality. And then in the middle here, that curved line, we have the Lorentz curve. All right. So from this, the Lorentz curve um, can basically give a quantitative measure of distribution of income. Um, which is known as the Gini coefficient, right? So the Gini coefficient, um, which is calculated, the formula is uh, Gini um, coefficient equals to A over A plus b uh, multiplied by 100 over 1. All right, so that's the formula right there. All right, how do we identify a different from b? All right, so a is the area here, which is, <coughs> which is between the line of absolute equality and the Lorentz curve. While B is the area between the line, the Lorentz curve, and the line of absolute inequality. All right. So this basically going to show us how distribute, how even or how uneven distribution of income comes about. All right. So for instance, um, A equals to forty, and B equals to 60 all right because you have to equal to 100 so based on the formula we plug and play so gc gc equals to 40 divided by 40 <coughs> plus 60 multiplied by 100 over 1 so this is 100 right um cancel out that let's give you 40 multiply by 1 so you get 40 all right so what does that depict that 40 percent all right what does that 40 percent depicts so this is showing that that's how distribution of income is distributed within this particular economy and it is not absolutely even right but it's not absolutely um uneven or unequal or unequal inequality absolute inequality so as you can see the further you you are away from the absolute inequality line is the higher the gini coefficient would be which then leads to more of an absolute inequality all right so in order for us to get a more equal distribution of a second so in order for us to get a more even a distribution of income change up these real quick all right <clears throat> so in order to get an even the distribution of income you need to have something looking like this so the closer to zero you are the more even distribution just distributed the income is and the closer you are to 100 is the more uneven or unequal so if a equals to 40, I mean 0, right? Which is this area there. And b equals to, in this case, 100, right? <coughs> so we have a, so gc equals to 0, 0, add by 0, plus 100 equals to well multiply by 100 over 1 
I'm gonna give it that equals to zero percent. All right. So what does that entail? <coughs> that will show you that the Lorentz curve will be even or equal to the absolute <coughs> inequality, equality, right? Line of absolute equality, which would then state that the income would be evenly distributed, right? On the flip side now, if the GC, this is the Gini coefficient, is equals to say B now become, say A is a 100, right? And B is zero. A equals 100 and B equals 0. Right? What would this entail? So, we would have the GC would then be 100 divided by uh, what, 100 plus 0. Right? Which then equal, well, multiply by 100. Which then equals to what? One hundred percent, right? And that would Im um, implicate that we're what <coughs> at the line of absolute inequality. So the distribution of income would go to the one percent. All right. So one percent of this economy would have obtained all the income. So that's it. Where Lorentz curve and Gini coefficient is concerned. All right. So remember the closest the closer we are to zero um here where the line which is a line of absolute equality then the more are the better distributed income are or the more even the um, distribution of income is the further away we are which is closer to the b or the line of absolute inequality then the more uneven distribution of income is within a particular economy all right and these are our absolute case our worst case so for perfect our perfect um, distribution of income a which is the, the area between the Lorentz curve and a line of absolute equality has to be zero or the lower it is the more be the better the distribution is while <clears throat> for the worst case scenario if we're the one percent of the economy gain all of the um income then we'll be closer to 100 or 100 and that's the area between which is b which is between the Lorentz curve and the line of absolute inequality all right